Hello everyone, it is Sue here and I wanted to come on today and let you know that from a newbie's perspective to watercoloring and as far as watercolor paper goes, I think I found my stride in what I gravitate towards the most as far as papers go, watercolor paper. So I've been watercoloring now since the middle of October of 2019. So November, December, not quite three months yet. <laughs> so I'm finding, you know, um, what I like the most, right? What I grab the most. Um, and what I'm finding is that I really like working on smaller pieces of watercolor paper. I also really enjoy the very rough edge of a torn piece of watercolor paper. Um, so I'm going to show you what I do. So like these square pieces right here, which are probably... Uh, let's see, they are almost five, well, it's almost five by five. Not that that matters, because this one is a little bit smaller, and yeah, and this one is just a little bit longer, and that's okay too. But these are the sizes I grab for first. I love them. Um, you know, then this one gets even just a little bit longer, and then I have some longer pieces that I like to use. They are different widths, right? So in reality, there's no measuring going on in this process that I really, really enjoy doing. And I think it's very economical. I really, really, really do. In, you know, a lot of the watercolor papers, let me grab... Uh, one or two here. So this one, which is pretty decent paper, and it is, what is it? It's just over five inches by almost eight inches. Uh, this is all cotton paper that I'm talking about right now. So this comes with 20 sheets, right? Um, I can tell you right now that out of this one pad of Arches watercolor paper, I have way more than 20 sheets. I mean, this is, I this pad is almost empty. I bet you I get 40 to 50 uh, different size watercolor papers to paint on. So I'm just gonna show you what I do. So first of all, the place that I purchased this is at Michael's. Um, I actually just purchased my second pad. It comes with, it comes with 12 papers in it, 12 papers, and I'm gonna get 40 to 50 different sheets of paper out of this one pad. It's 100% cotton. It is normally, I wanna say 27-ish dollars at Michael's. You use the coupon. And I hope I'm saying that right. I hope it's not double that. I don't know, whatever it is. You know, I use the 40 or 50% coupon and it's a lot less. I want to say I pay about $13 for this. I could be wrong. You'll have to check it out. Um, but that's kind of what I'm thinking at the moment. So it's quite large. It's 10 by 14. That's really huge. Like for me, I don't know that I would ever paint on that big of a paper, or at least not at this point in my watercolor journey. <laughs> I'm not there just yet, but let me just show you. I have here, and I know it's hard for you to see because it's white on white. My, my, the uh, pad that I have on my desk is white, so, um, but I do have a full size 10 by 14. Now, look at how easy this is. So, 
you can do it whatever way you want. Sometimes I fold it in half and tear it. Um, sometimes I fold it in thirds. Sometimes I fold it in quarters. Um, I think for the purpose of this video, I'm going to do thirds. So I don't do any measuring because you know what? I am not looking for a particular size paper. I like having multiple size papers. And I just showed you all the different sizes that I have by doing what I'm gonna show you right now. So all I do is I take this 10 by 14 and I know that I'm going to leave this piece right here as one of the bigger pieces so that I have a bigger piece to paint on if I choose to. So I fold it once and you can see it really, it's already getting a beautiful rough edge to it. But I fold it again the opposite way. Easy peasy, right? Now all I do is just start the edge of it very carefully, slowly. I mean, it's not too slow, right? And that's it. So now I have a sheet, one sheet of watercolor paper to paint on. So that goes in my stack. And then what I'm going to do is take what's left over. So basically two thirds, maybe a little bit less, because I think I went a little bit bigger than um, a third there, but I'm gonna fold it in half both ways. And then to get my most favorite size of all, all I'm gonna do is fold it over again. Fold one way, fold the other way, and tear. Okay, two more pieces. And then two more pieces. So you can fold it, like I say, in well, so many different different sizes. So out of that one piece of paper, I have five different sheets to paint on, five. So the fact that that pad has 12 sheets in it, I mean, that's 60. I said 40 or 50, maybe I get 60 or more out of one piece of paper. I mean, I could even take this one and fold it in half, but I do like having some um, bigger sheets. So I'll do that one more time with you. I'm gonna go ahead, sorry, and pull out my sheet from this pad. Um, and out of that 12, I have two more left, only two more sheets. This time, I'm gonna go ahead and fold it. So again, I'm looking at this right here because I know that this piece right here is going to be one piece of paper for me, one, one sheet. So I'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger. I mean, you can even fold, you can, you can start by folding uh, lengthwise instead of widthwise if you choose. But now, and you see how easy it tears, it's just like amazing. So now I have a bigger piece um, to paint on. So this was the one that we did first right here. And this is the second one we just did. And you can see the difference in size, right? You can see the difference. So yeah, so this second one we just did has an extra, what, inch and a half, maybe? So now I'm gonna continue. I can fold this in half. Now I can keep it this size. I can definitely keep it this size. What I think I'm going to do is keep one of these this size, right here. So this is, where's my ruler? This is five by uh, seven and three quarters. I mean, that's basically this, right? And I don't know, it just seems so worth it to me. So I'm gonna keep it that size and then I will go ahead and I'm gonna end up with some really nice little 
pieces. Now, why I like this so much, let me, I guess, tell you why I like these smaller pieces. Um, I really enjoy just pulling a piece of paper and painting a flower on it, right? It's not intimidating. It is, um, it's something I can do after work in five minutes. In five minutes, I can have a painting done. Um, yeah, so to me, it is worth it. The time that it takes is minimal. You end up with a ton of different sizes to paint on. So depending on what you feel like at that moment, you grab the size that you want. And I'm gonna, <laughs> again, I don't know what it is about the edges that look like that. I just feel so much more creative. I wish every edge could be like that. They end up with one or two, usually two straight edges, but I just love it. So that is my recommendation, and that is what I have learned as a newbie. Um, and I have to tell you, look at this stack of paper that I have. I don't even know if I can show you. Look at that stack of paper. And that's from just, I don't know, I had some of it here. Probably, I don't know, four, maybe five sheets of paper. And I have all of this. So I'm good to go for a while. So don't think that Arches is out of reach as far as cost goes. It is so worth it that even if you had to pay full price for it, you know what? Uh, it's worth it. So let me know if you have any questions. Um, I would love to have you as a subscriber to my channel. Um, as I continue to learn and grow in the watercolor field and um, yeah, as I make all my mistakes. I mean, I just got done painting a painting that is like, I don't know, I'm not so sure. <laughs> It's not the best, you know, but that's how we learn. So now I learn things from that painting and um, and I'll do something different next time. So breaking it down like this, you know what? It doesn't matter to me if, if I mess up. The other thing is if you mess up, don't get rid of it. Keep it. You can use the other side of it. You can use the other side to... Um, test something, right? Maybe you want to just kind of test a new flower or you want to just get and just, you know, um, mix some colors together or just to do some, um, you know, testing with different shapes, your mark making kind of thing. Uh, yeah, so I keep all the ones that I don't like and I'll use the opposite side of them to uh, watercolor on as well. So that's it. Um, let me know if you have any questions and uh, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it very, very, very much. God bless. Bye-bye.